hi guys welcome back to the channel today my name is osara may and if you're here for the first time thank you so much for stopping by hit on the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell just in case you're here to subscribe to my channel so in today's video i want to share with you guys how to make this top here um i've already made mine with my own beautiful fabric and it came out so nice but i have decided to share this video into two because it is too long so the first video you're going to be seeing is the pattern drafting which is this first one so we're going to be drafting the pattern for this top in this video so if you're here to subscribe to the channel and you're interested in this particular thing that i'm about to share with you please keep on watching and let's go into it so guys to start off this tutorial i'm going to draw a straight line across here at the top this is going to serve as our starting line and i'm just going to quickly label this the shoulder line i'm going to just be drafting a basic corset pattern just like i always do there is nothing new here the major thing that is going to be new here is the basque effect at the end so from this shoulder line i'm going to come down to 10 inches which is my bust point so take a measurement from your shoulder down to your bust point and mark what you have there and then still leaving the tape at my shoulder i came down to 13 inches which is my under bust point i marked it there and right now i'm marking at 16 inches which is my waistline so i'll just go ahead and use my ruler to draw straight lines across so this is the bust line this is the under bust line and here we have the waistline so for this particular uh, blouse that we're trying to recreate you notice that the blouse actually the end at the waistline the blouse length actually came down to have that basque like effect that you see in front so from the waistline i'm going to come down to the length i want this basque effect to be i'm just going to come down to the full length i want my top to be first so that's 22 inches i'm just also going to go ahead and draw that line across and i will just label this particular line the hemline so now i'm going to come to the shoulder here this shoulder line and on this line i will divide my shoulder measurement into two equal halves and make a point there i always do this on the channel so from this point i'll come down by one inch to get my shoulder slope and i'm just going to make a point from here a line from here into the shoulder line this is our shoulder slope and because i do not need the upper part of this particular top i'm just going to draw out a, a neckline i just draw out a brown neckline so that you guys understand what is going on here so from the shoulder i came down by my armhole depth and i'm just going to draw a straight line across this place here this is going to be the chest line and once i'm through with that i will connect a straight line from this point here down to meet this new line that i told you is going to be the chest line so now i'm going to take the measurement i have from the top of this shoulder down to the chest line and divide it into two equal halves i made a point there and from that point i went in by half of an inch now on this chest line here i'm going to divide my bust measurement by four and i made a point there so i'm going to connect these three points now just like i'm doing right now go ahead and do the same thing look at the points i'm trying to connect and go ahead and connect yours as well so you're connecting from the shoulder to the midpoint we had on the armhole and then down to meet the chest line this is going to give you your armhole so now the next thing you want to do is from the bust line under bust line waistline and hemline you're going to divide your nipple to nipple measurement which is your bust span into two equal halves mine was seven inches and that divided by two is three and a half so i made a point all around the four lines that we have here and i'm going to connect all of them together with a straight line now guys coming down to this waistline i'm going to come out from both sides of the line by half of an inch so go ahead and do the same thing and then from this bust line here i'll come down by one inch so here now I'll just go ahead and connect all the lines to give me my dot so go ahead and do it just the same way you see me doing it in this video if you're familiar with my videos you should be used to see me doing these almost like all the time so now we're going to come to the top of this shoulder here and from this point to the neckline i'm going to divide what i have in between into two equal halves so go ahead and do the same thing for yours and then you're going to connect from this point down to meet the boss point so now to draft the cups we are going to come down to this under boss line here 
and what i'm going to do is to come out from both that legs by half of an inch on both sides so come out by half of an inch on both sides but if you're very busty like about 45 inches and above or let's say 43 44 i would advise that you go out by 0 0.75 instead of um half of an inch okay so once you have done that connect a line to meet from this point down to the hemline and you're going to do the same thing for the other side as well so once you're through with that the next thing you want to do is to connect a curl from this point to the top of the dart i'm going to be connecting the both sides go ahead and do the same thing just like you see me doing like this make use of whatever curve you have available to you so guys once that is done you're going to come over to this top area here you're going to replace the dart you have under the underbust at the top but before we do that um i want to go up from the chest line this line here i'm supposed to have labeled it earlier this is the chest line okay so that you guys don't miss it so from this chest line you can go up by one inch depending on how covered you want your um bustier to be that's the corpse for me i came up from this bust line by just half of an inch and i just drew a line across okay so this is where i'm going to now be replacing the under bust dart at the top so the measurement i have in between my dart here on the under bust is one and a half inch so i'll be sharing that on equally so i'll give half an inch to the part going towards the center of my um, bustier and i'll give the other one inch to the part going towards the side so if yours is more than um one and a half inch go ahead and separate it on equally as well give the smallest part to the part of the boost, um, cup going towards the center and then the bigger parts will go to the side going towards the side of the top i don't know if you guys understand so guys from this point i just got i'm going out by extra quarter of an inch from these points i got this is to avoid gaping at the top of my bustier this is for it not to be looking big at the top so um, i just went ahead to go out by quarter of an inch from each point i had earlier so from these new points now i'm connecting a curve to meet the bust point okay if you do not understand what i'm saying look at the video and follow it make sure that you're using your own personal measurements so guys one thing i want to also draw your attention to is something about this corps so i have noticed that when i draw my corsets like this one curve is usually longer than the other so let's measure it so from this point here i'll just measure the curve i have on this part of the scope this one going towards the side is always longer so if you measure it here i have about six and a half inches and from this part here i think i ended up having about six inches exactly so the difference between the two of them i'm just going to go up on the shorter one by that difference so that by the time we stitch it down in the middle we don't have any issues okay so i'm just going to go up by that difference and just connect like this and that's basically all for that part so guys for the difference between our two cups that's like the small space we have in between the two cups i'm going to come in by half of an inch here this line i'm drawing is not really necessary i don't know why at that particular moment i went ahead to draw this right line down it's not necessary as long as you've gotten your points it's fine you don't really need to draw this line but if you go ahead and draw it it's still fine so remember that this right here is the chest line so i want to maintain the chest line for my um cup so i'll just use my marker to make this half an inch i came out by to be more visible and from this point i'll just draw a curve to meet the top of the dart that i had earlier so just see what i'm doing here so i'm trying to get one part of the uh, cup now from this point here i'm just arranging my ruler in a nice way and i'm going to connect these points together like this and this is going to give me this is the first part of our cup okay now for the second part what i normally do is i take the distance from here to here and whatever i have i divide it into two equal halves so i'm doing that right now and the center is right here so from that middle i come down by half of an inch and then from that half of an inch point here just make a line 
towards the side of your pattern paper so just like i'm doing like this so now from this line here i'm just going to connect a curve to meet the other top of my dart this is very easy because it's like i'm explaining everything i'm doing with my hand so if you don't understand what i'm saying go ahead and do it just the way i just did now from this other point i have here i'm going to connect a curve so make sure that you are not arranging your curve rule in a way that it won't give you enough space for your cup ensure that you arrange it in a way just like i'm doing like this that will give you more room for your boobs to sit can you see how i arranged it and the cup is looking wide on this part so this is one and two and it's going to go in this direction basically we are done drafting the corset part of this top honestly this is how i draft mine this is what works for me and this is what i have been doing so now the next thing i want to do is coming down to this chest line here i'm going to take my bust measurement divided by four and make a point here and like i always do i'm going to take the dart in between here can you see this place here take what you have in between the dart for this i have one and a half inch so i'm going to replace the one and a half inch here and then i'll add one inch for stitching allowance normally i add one and a half inch for stitching allowance but i notice it's always too wide too big so i've decided to be using one inch but to be on the safer side you can use one and a half inch for stitching allowance now coming to the waistline i marked my waist measurement divided by four then i replaced the dart which is one and a half inch as well there and then i added one inch for stitching allowance now coming down to the end of our dress which is the hip line so now i marked my hip measurement divided by four i'll measure the dart i have in between here and replace it and add one inch for stitching allowance so lastly i'm going to join all the last points together just like you see me doing like this just go ahead and join them together with your curve to give you your body shape so once you're through with that you're done drafting the front pattern i'm just going to go ahead and cut out all my pieces so guys this is all for the drafting of the front pieces so i'm going to go ahead and turn it over to the back side so that i will go ahead and um use my celly tape to hold this down i don't want to uh, actually have to deal with so many pieces for this so i'm just closing up the dart so i'll use my celly tape to just hold it in place just like you see me doing like this and it's going to also be easier for me to cut out that basque effect we're going to be having at the end of this top okay so now for the basque effect in front that comes like this what i want to do is remember that um this line that we have here is my waistline so from this waistline this was the underbust line so this is the waistline then this is the hemline okay so from this waistline i want to come down by some inches because i don't want to start my curve exactly from the waistline so i want to come down by two inches from the waistline so i make a mark here at two inches so i decided to increase the length of my blouse this is optional um, because i wanted to increase the length of the basque in front okay so i just added a piece of pattern paper and gum into what i already have here you can see that i still know where my length ended from my top ended because the marker is still showing so from that marker line i just came down by extra three inches okay and here from this three inches point i'm coming in by two inches that's going to be how wide the basque effect will be at the end so i'm just connecting it with a straight line like this and then i will use a curve to connect from here down to meet this point here if you don't understand what i'm saying just try to look at what i'm doing in the video and again if you do not have this curve it's not necessary it's not compulsory you can actually try to get this with your free hand it's possible so if you don't have this curve you can use your free hand it's totally still doable so guys this is all for the front part of this pattern i'm going to use this to draft out the back it's actually very easy so i was lucky to get a piece of pattern paper that was just exactly the same width as what i have in front this um back pattern doesn't need um zipper allowance because we are going to actually be having loops at the back so it doesn't need zipper so there's no zipper allowance in front and you can see i'm just placing my front pattern exactly 
on the pattern paper i have for the back so you see there's no zipper allowance here because it's not necessary we're going to be using lip loops for this okay so what i want to go ahead and do now is to just trace out this front pattern on the back pattern paper so this bask is not going to be at the back so i'm just going to be stopping the back from i'll just trace from up here i'll trace the sides until it gets to below the waistline here so this is where the back is going to end okay i'm not going to be tracing the curve on the front pattern paper like i said before the only parts that you need to trace is here and here so i will just go ahead and remove the pin now just so you guys will understand what i'm doing okay so now I've traced out the side so i will just connect a straight line now to from here to meet the middle of the back pattern and from here as well i'll just connect a straight line to meet the other side now this particular part we're just actually drafting the back pattern with freehand here that's just what is going on it's nothing serious so remember that we're going to be having loops at the back so from the middle of this back pattern here i'm coming in by two inches you can come in by one and a half inch you can come in by three inches but i won't advise that you go in by three inches because it's going to be very wide at the back only if you have actually want it to be very open for me i don't want it to be too open so i'm coming in by two inches and i'm drawing a straight line across so go ahead and do the same thing and now we know that this part here is not needed anymore and that there are going to be loops here so i'll just draw circle 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 so that you know that there are going to be loops here so this is the back pattern so basically we are done drafting out the back i will just go ahead and cut out the parts that i will be needing so guys these are all the patterns front and back including the cup patterns i can see how the sides of both the front and the back are actually matching perfectly so i'm going to now use these patterns to cut out on my actual fabric and in the next video i'll be sharing with you guys how to sew it together and definitely i'll be showing you the outcome of my own top so thank you so much for watching